alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Um, Ramadan, it's, uh, I see it as a training period where I get to practice everything I'm supposed to be doing outside as a regular Muslim. Doing good, you know, um, my salah, reading the Quran, tajud. These are things that we should do regularly. So the Ramadan offers uh, the opportunity to be able to, you know, constantly practice that on a daily basis. Um, I think it's because it's, it's um, widely recognized. It's acceptable by everybody. Even those that do things that uh, we don't accept, like um, beer parlors and you know, gambling places, they know that Ramadan is around because the places where you have you know, Muslims that are still trying visit sometimes, they don't go to those places during Ramadan. Everybody just shuts down. Well, I, I try to get better on everything I do every year. So I look at the things I did last year. So last year, for example, I was able to read a Jews every day. So I finished the Quran. So this year I'm trying to use, um, I want to use the, I want to pray Tarawi with a juzo, such that I'm able to finish the Quran twice. So that's my, that's my goal. So. Ah, number one, I'm going to be sleeping earlier. <laughs> because for you, to, for you to be able to wake up for Tarjud and then uh, Tarawi as well. So that means I have to get home earlier from work. I have to, you know, things are gonna just waste my time. Basically, I need to get out. I get, I need to get them out of the way. I use my time more valuable, valuably. So uh, then, um, if I, um, I'd rather not drive during Ramadan because, um, for example, if I'm gonna read a uh, juzu every day, so I'm, I'm gonna need time to read outside of work. So I'd rather commute, maybe BRT or Uber or something. So while I'm in the bus, I can actually just use that period to, you know, read my. Um, I like volunteering for you know different organizations. So during Ramadan, um, I we volunteer for organizations where we go to the masjid to feed people. So we cook every day during Ramadan. Uh, last year we fed about we fed over thirty thousand people during iftar. So uh, this year we're looking to you know increase that figure. So we cook every day. So we go to the masjids. We have to be there on time. So we start cooking from like you know zur you know, just to make sure that, you know, the food is ready and then we have to take them, you know, far and wide to those masjids such that it's available exactly at iftar. I'm just trying to create one now with uh, a couple of friends and family. So what we want to do is, most times, everybody is free during the weekends. So we just, you know, gather together and have iftar together. And also use the opportunity to, you know, maybe recite the Quran, uh, Hadith and stuff. Things that will help us, you know, bond better in spirituality. Most times it depends on where I am. So, but um, I like to have like maybe two or three dates in my pocket. So when it's closer to iftar, maybe from Asr, I just like to have it around because sometimes, sometimes I move around a lot. So once I have it in my pocket, wherever I am, I can just, I can just do my thing. Yeah, I've actually done that. I've actually done that. So I'm trying to double on that now. Um, I can't remember the, I can't remember the exact um, surah now, but it's um, where Allah talks about, what Allah says is that, do you think because you say you're a believer, you're going to be left alone? It's, for me, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, fun. it's it, it, it summarizes everything that we are as a Muslim. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I see myself as a revert, actually, because um, I, I started praying consciously in 2000 and, um, 2015. So before then, it was all about and all that. So I see myself as a revert, and I think that, that first Ramadan, that first itikaf, it was, it was splendid. You know, there was so much energy, so much, you know, vigor. I need to do this, I need to do that. And, you know, meeting people around, new faces, everybody just trying to help. It was, it was amazing, it was amazing. That's my best experience. Okay, we do, we do Made in Nigeria. I, mean, I sell Made in Nigeria shoes. The name of the brand is Zoku Shoes. So we sell shoes, steppers and sandals. And um, we're based here in Lagos, but we deliver nationwide and also globally. Yeah, it is hectic, but just I just try to conserve energy. So most of the time, I don't just like I, I don't like to do unnecessary things. Things that just take me, burn my energy unnecessarily. Just hanging out, digesting unnecessarily, you know, stuff like that. It's just we get carried away with those things, but it's it's a conscious effort to you know keep check of them. So that you don't just um, you don't just waste your energy, you don't waste time. You have the Quran to read. You can also do um, askar. 
So as against wasting time talking about. So it's actually difficult to be working and doing Ascara at the same time. Because I've seen somebody do that and it was amazing doing his work and at the same time being able to do Ascara. So I think it's something that he has been able to get used to over time. You know, so and I realized that once you once you once you put your mind into something, you focus on it. It's Quran. We not Quran. We not Quran. I feel like Ramadan is coming to an end. So every day it's counting. I be like, ah man, seven days go, to, seven days more. So some people are excited about it. Probably because they want to do something, you know, off. But for you that uh, you just want to try as much as possible to stay on track, you just don't want it to end. Because it's like a safe heaven. You like you have this space where you can just run to. Like anything that's happening, I'm in Ramadan. I know I can't speak anyhow. So it helps you, you know, to keep check. I try and read the Quran every day. Read the Quran every day. Every day, no matter how little even if it's a page. Read the Quran every day. Every day. All day, every day. So I need to Fajr. I read the Quran. So what I do is um, whatever I stop today, tomorrow I continue from there. It reminds me of the um, it reminds me of how 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 blessed we are in this Ummah. Uh, during, during Eid, I see myself as... Uh, it makes me feel international. So, for example, I, five times in the day, I go to the nearest mosque to pray. So I probably pray with um, people I know. That's five times a day. If it's at work as well, you probably have a particular masjid you pray at work. Then on Friday, you go to a bigger masjid where you have you know, people from a larger community pray together. And Eid gives you that opportunity to pray with a way more larger crowd than Juma. So Eid is just what is between that crowd of Aj and Juma. So I feel I feel very blessed, you know, going to the and you see you sometimes you see faces that you've not seen in years. Like, what are you doing? You know, so it's always exciting to be around, you know, family, friends and you know, get to spend that time to eat and reflect. It's a beautiful period.